Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to yet another video. In case you're new here, my name is Anne and in this channel I do a lot of things. I cook, clean, travel sometimes and also a bit of lifestyle videos. So if that's the kind of content you're actually looking for, you are highly welcome over here guys. So in today's video, we're just going to be doing some refresh and lots and lots of cleaning. I haven't been giving this house uh, much attention uh, for the past one week since I have been so so busy work wise. Yeah, so today I thought of refreshing my bedroom and also do a bit of refresh as well to the living room. You know, the living room must be refreshed like each and every time because that's where we spend most of our time so uh stick around guys make sure you subscribe in case you haven't and also i uh, like this video and leave a comment for me at the end so i just started with the bedroom and i'm going to be changing my beddings i normally do this at least twice a week yeah twice a week yeah, so uh to clarify here the bedding the, the bed sheet i removed is the pair of these so i'm going to spread this as well so don't think i just recycled the other one it was, i just bought them as a pair yeah so that's what i'm going to change to this bed and i go ahead uh cleaning other things guys Actually, these pillowcases, I bought them most recently in my Kamkunji haul. And let me tell you guys, they are not durable. Like, they are almost done, like, done. So, I don't know where I'm going to get something like that. Uh, stay a bit. Yeah, but the other one I had, the previous one I had, at least they stayed uh, longer. But for this one, I'm not even seeing them staying at least... Uh, for two months so uh i think that's someone i need to look into so if you've been to this channel before you will realize we did some changes to this bedroom where the bed is is where this uh, uh working station was so i don't know what came into my hubby's mind so he had to change this but i, uh, I really really like the results because the room has turned to be really really big at least to neither penduka penduka kido yeah so I'm, I'm i just want to tackle this uh uh window and as usual guys in this house we don't have balconies i really feel it could be so nice if i had a balcony so that i can get to the other side and get to clean this window so well because it's the one that is uh towards the road and all the dust that uh, comes from the road this is the first stop so it had so so much dust so i was struggling and um, struggling a bit to clean it but anyway we shall move to a better house in future guys so again for today's video uh as usual i'm not using anything uh, special to clean all purpose a uh, crystal cleaner and also some astonish and some powder soap and uh, just some clean water yeah so for the window i'm going in first with some water and powder soap and then i'm going to uh, do some fresco or purpose cleaner to make sure the window is 
a little bit clear because you know when you use uh, water it might leave some whitish whitish things on the glass yeah so that's why i have to finish with the uh, fresco cleaner So I'm done with the upper side and down here I have this small small shoe rack that I want to really organize you guys. I have a lot and a lot of shoes. Most of them is on down your closet and there is something I'm working on that's a shoe rack. It's almost done. It's only that my fund has been lying to me like he's be like imekuwa so nikienda napata ijakuwa. So I decided to um closet and the one that we mostly use as the are the ones that are on this small shoe rack and yeah so you can see on the top there are some tissues i also don't have lots of organizers in this house that's another project that is coming on your way so i'm done with uh the organization and now i want to mop the floor and and we call it a bedroom refresh I don't mind a little rain on my soul A little bit of angry makes you cute And we've been watching this show so long But it feels like everything that we wrong Went back into the band we used It won't take long Even when I'm without you and I'm without you, babe So listen up and play along And that's how time flies like we are So we are done guys and down there is uh, the entryway and that's where I put my laundry baskets and you can see our bed is neatly done and yeah so I like it so much I love the sheets and on this other side is our working station it's also done uh, the only things there Kapuju needs are laptops and our window is so so clean guys you can see we can now even see the neighbors clearly and yes so on this other side i didn't uh, i didn't touch the closets they are so so messy so i need to fold organize and also do a bit of declutter so that could be another job for a different day so over here our shuraka has turned out so neatly and i also love 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 it you can see our mirror is so so clean guys it's so 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 clean yes so uh that is it uh, i'm done with this uh bedroom and we are going to be headed to the uh living room So on the living room, I'm also going to start with the window and as usual, it doesn't have a balcony. So I'm always uh, cleaning it from the inside. And for this one, it's a bit dif different because it's completely locked. Like Haina Dishaida and Yunaza Fungua one side, it's completely locked. So sometimes it doesn't get clean because you'll find it's so clean from inside. But from outside, it has some uh, dirt and the view you are seeing is coming from nairobi national park yes so we are neighbors with that park guys so and tell me why the house i was targeting to move in tell me why it's a two-bedroom house and they just advertised the price and it's actually that three thousand guys tell me why two, two bedroom houses can be that three thousand like 
upgrade someone's salary like na earn to salary and then you come and pay the rent and it's sometimes i, I just feel like hata hita trosha because you will need some other things like uh water uh uh some security and so many stuff so you need roughly uh 40k to pay for your rent and it's just two bedroom i don't feel like it's adding up but anyway i know people will go there so uh, maybe people have money it's only me who doesn't have money and i'm here complaining yeah and for the seats i realized they have some funny smell so and you know as always astonish has that some magic smell that will always make your house smell so so nice that's why i had to use a wet a wet a towel and some astonish to make sure these seeds smell smell so nice so i'm not even doing any uh, deep clean i just want to wipe off the bad smell with astonish of course and make my house smell nice <laughs> this stand was so so dirty guys just imagine nowadays my boy this is where he plays like ni kama nataka kuingia kwa tv they interact with the cartoons on one on one because for those people who are having toddlers in the house please let me know how well or which tricky are you using to control their funny funny doings in the house imagine anachukua kiti yake ana place hapa and then anapanda juu ya his stand then he wants to uh touch touch the tv and stuff yeah so he had to make sure this stand is well well cleaned you know it's white and it's so easy for someone to note some that in it and just because of him nimeshindwa kuweka some decos like i can't put any deco up there because immediately i put it that's how it's it's going to be destroyed so i'm just giving it a little bit time for him at least to get to two years or three years or something where we can at least communicate and where he is able to identify that this is some whatever he's doing is wrong and right so where he can be able to know the right or wrong things so that's when we are going to get seriously to decorating this house for now the things i have let just be that i don't want any in distractions and with this economy you just buy a very very expensive deco and you just come uh, back to the house and just few hours later it's destroyed already and that's not good at all at all and behind the seats since we did fumigation i haven't been able to clean there and i found so so many dead uh, cockroaches over there and i feel so good actually nowadays i don't even find them in the house I hope and I'm crossing fingers so they don't get to come back to this house. Yeah. Even if they come and I'm also going to be looking for something temporary to be keeping them away. I saw something on Facebook and I'm going as well to look it at the neighbors and after you use it that's when I'll be giving you a review if it's good or bad. For now, let's just leave it there. Just roll on to the day's done and the light's gone and, and it won't take long Even when I'm without you, when I'm without you, babe so listen up and play along, yeah And that's how time flies, flies like we are different So uh, meanwhile, I ju I'm just thinking of selling this table, but if there's someone who needs it, it's so, so good, guys. Me, I love it so much, but the thing is, I want something white uh, for the uh, coffee table because my TV stand is white. 
so i want something that can match with it and i just want to sell it this month or if i get someone to gift actually i'll do it willingly like i won't even charge you anything so if you are here and you want that that table please let me know in the comment section and i can make some arrangement on how it's going to reach to your place because i want some something uh white for my coffee table because you see the stand i have is white and also the uh, dispenser i have is white so in short i i just want some whitish in the house so that's why i want to sell that table but it's also good and i really love it because that is something i something i started i started life with and you know how much we get attached to the things we bought when we were really when we didn't have anything at all so uh so we are done with our living room refresh you can see everything is just uh, in order and you can see our table is so so good guys actually i really love it if i had the opportunity i could paint it white but uh I don't think if it it will come out as i expect so instead i'll have to sell or give someone so that i can get to buy a new new table and also for the curtains i'm going to be changing the, for the next video you are seeing for the living room it's going to be something uh very very new yeah so i'm done cleaning i'm done refreshing the living room guys and so let's head to doing something else so next thing i'm going to be doing is to clean these shoes uh the ones that we've been, we've been using to go to work for the last one week and yeah so i just want to clean them and also to clean the door mats and as i was doing the cleaning guys uh my favorite person who was doing me the uh, carpet it's so clean and it's already outside I'll, I'll be showing you that so i want to uh clean the shoes and also refresh the bathroom you know this is where we as well spend most of the, our times i know uh, most of the people sometimes will even spend their their uh, time uh, on uh, the toilet some some even find it peaceful there i saw something like that on the internet like someone would go to the uh, uh, washroom for almost one hour and when you go there with your phone you don't even remember you are in the washroom yeah so uh, i saw something like that and uh also in my house we also have that kind of sickness and that's why i want to refresh this uh bathroom and make sure it's so so clean as well yeah oh i don't mind a little rain on my soul a little bit of angry makes you cute and we've been watching this show so long but it feels like everything that we wrong went back into the bed we used
find a little rain on my soul. A little bit of anger makes you cute. And we've been watching this show so long. But it feels like everything that we've grown went back into the band we used. It won't take long. Even when I'm without you, when I'm without you, babes, listen up and play along. And that's how time flies. So for the flows, I did use Vim to scrub and also I did use uh, some uh, uh, magic cleaner and some Vim to spray on the toilet bowl and on the out on the uh, top, I'm applying some Astonish to clean the surfaces where we sit on. Yeah. Uh, this drainage had some issues it had blocked and i had to call the caretaker to come over and fix it and it was smelling so so bad so i had to disinfect it with some vim and also some astonish since i don't have baking soda or some vinegar in the house and it also did some good good job so i'm done uh, with everything guys i have hung the shoes out here the mat i did wash the small ones are out here as well and i had told you uh, when i was doing the cleaning my favorite person did this for me he usually helped me clean this mat it's so difficult and being white guys i feel like i did a uh, miss on this and in future i might take this mat to the bedroom because we don't spend most of the time there unless it's at night time and buy something for my living room yeah that mat gets so so that so quick and over here i had to rush to the salon it was late and i didn't have an appointment i wanted a quick fix for my hair because being on sunday and i'm going to have a very very rough week uh, uh at work that's why i had to run to do a quick fix and i was doing some spring twist for the week so as i figure out what i'm going to be uh braiding next yeah so i'm in the salon and then after here we're going to be making our supper and we call it our day so i'm done with everything guys and now i want to prepare some supper and for today we are going to be having i'm going to be having some carrot chapatis and some beans yeah that is one what i want to prepare and on Sundays, it's for chapels in my house. You can't convince me with anything else. So I had to do chapel. Even though I had already blended our carrots, you can say I have some carrot puree. So I have, what I've done, I've added some sugar, some uh, salt, and also some cooking oil, and uh, lastly, some uh, carrot puree. Yeah, that is what I want to do. And it was hot. As usual, you don't, you don't, you won't want to have some soft, soft chapatis, and use uh, something called yeah that that will be a total miss. So and yeah, so I want to uh, knead the dough and get to cook our chapos for today. I won't do much because um, in most cases I really really do sugar coated chapos, but but for today I don't feel like I have the energy. But if I find one. I'll surely uh, do some good chapos because I love eating something nice. Yeah, so, uh, and again, for the good chapos, you need to knead your dough uh, to the maximum of where you feel like this is done, like the one you, you are seeing in front of you right now. So I'm going to leave it to rest for like that minute so that we can get to uh, uh, roll our chapos. So the day's done and the light's gone and, and it won't take long Even when I'm without you and I'm without you, babe Listen up and play
So this was that minutes later and you can see the dough had already been so so soft and I want to divide it into two pieces so they can get to roll it well. You see my working space is so small and I'm using this uh, chopping board to cut them into pieces. I really admire most people's countertops because they are big like they have enough working space but for me. I always find it hard because I squeeze myself where there are utensils. That's where I also make my working place. Yeah, so I want to do like a uh, soft layered chapatis, but not really because I'm not focusing into that. I just want to roll them kidogo and uh, just have some very, very layered chapo, but not to focus on that. So that is what I want to do. I want, I have cut them into a, uh, uh, parts and I want to roll like this the way you are seeing I'm doing and I'm going to repeat the same same process until I'm done with everything yeah that is what I want to do and there you go guys I'm done with everything and I'm done with everything for now so I have already started to cook and for me I do it once at a go I've seen some some people will dry and then put some cooking oil later but for me i just do it at once and call it a uh, a uh, a deal done So I have realized we are almost coming to an end of this video and I haven't said welcome to my new subscribers. Karibuni sana guys. Welcome to this channel and I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. Kindly put that notification bell on. We normally post on Tuesdays and also on Fridays at exactly 3 p.m. And yeah, so uh, to my returning subscribers, thank you so much guys for always showing up to support my content. Yeah. We are almost done cooking our chapos, guys, and do you love the results? Are uh, actually obsessed with this. And the good thing when you use butternut or some carrots, your chapos will have to have some uh, very, very nice color, which I really, really like. And they just uh, give you some appetite to eat more and more. Yes, guys. So we are almost done, and so far, so good. So far, so good. Just look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm becoming a, sh a new chef in town. That's that's how I can call myself. And over here, we are done with cooking everything. Chapo zimekuwa zote. Like, zimeiva vizuri. And they are so, so appetizing. Like, I love, love this. When it comes to chapo, I don't even need to go over and Google anywhere to cook chapos. But when it comes to mandazi, I will take a whole day looking on youtube what people use to cook pandazis and all stuff so as i had said i hadn't really focused on doing the soft layered chapos but still they came as layered yeah that is how they actually turned out and i really really love 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 them let's now go ahead and make some uh make some uh stew and i had said before we are going to be doing beans these beans has been have been to my house for so long i came uh from i came with them from mushago like around uh december and i decided to cook there were so many and there are still many so i'm just trying to cook them kidogo kidogo uh beans are not my, my favorite but i'm trying so i have already blended my ingredients and over here i just did uh i just thought i was recording but uh little did i know i was uh, i had already posted the video so to guys I have already put some ingredients, some spices and everything and had in may add some coconut cream and this is how our beans has turned out 
and it was so 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 yummy guys it was super 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 yummy and uh, we really did enjoy our meals so as we come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like the video and also leave a comment for me and i really really appreciate that so let me see you in my next video guys bye bye and may god bless you bye Hello